Hi guys! Hello guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Okwemi. This is your personal and career development coach. If you're a new person here, welcome. And for my subscribers, thank you for always turning in. Thank you for always checking in. I love you guys. So today we're going to be talking about how to discover your strength. Yes, and one thing you should know is everyone has a strength. And your strength is something that you do effortlessly without any assistance or any help. So by the end of this video, you'll be sure to know your strength. Thank you. In this section, we are going to be asking ourselves some personal questions which I would like you to answer and I would like you to be truthful and be candid with yourself. The first thing is what are you good at? So I'm going to give an example for myself as we go along in this section so I can relate with it and I expect you to also answer each question for yourself. For me, I'm actually good at giving people compliments, I'm good at encouraging people and making them feel good. So um, you can call that a cheerleader. So a strength for me can be a cheerleader because I'm good at giving compliments. So now answer for yourself what I do have. Second thing is what comes naturally to you. That's what do you do effortlessly without any stress. <laughs> okay, so we see I'm smiling. Okay, so smiling comes naturally to me and uh, it makes me relax. It makes me tell people around me to feel relaxed as well. So can you call that a strength for me? Yes. And uh, this is I want you to, now I want you to think about what comes naturally to you. What do you think you do? Without stress, without stress, without much effort, it could be writing, it could be dancing, it could be anything. The third one is what project do you work on daily or overnight without um, getting tired or getting weak or being stressed out? So there are some things that you do like unconsciously or consciously without getting tired. And one thing you should ask yourself about this thing is after doing this, after completing this project, do you feel fulfilled? joyful do you feel relaxed or do you feel like you've accomplished something so what are the things that you do effortlessly or overnight without getting tired the next one is um, it's quite personal so and the question is what do you do in your family like what family role do you play okay for some um it could be the event plan it could be the event planner in their house okay you know sometimes my sister could be the one that um, like to organize events that means that strength is and if about you, you can be the one that loves to clean the house. That means you have a strength in housekeeping. And for someone like me, yes, my own strength is to give me money to keep. <laughs> okay, so that means I'm actually good for my strength in this money management. So are you getting that? Like, are you relating? I want you to be able to relate to each and every point that I'm making because you are full of strength. So the next one is what do people ask you to do or assist them with? Either at your place of work or in school, wherever, occasion, in church, anywhere that you are. What do people ask you to help them with? Probably at work, um, when people always ask you to help them with um, fixing their system, writing a particular project to work, designing flyers, what are the things that people always call you? Hey, okay, please ask me to do this. These are things that you should note and um, identify as a strength. And the other one is, which when do you feel like you're shiny? Like, uh -uh. you know, there's this time that you always feel like you're actually on top of the thing, you're just feeling yourself, you're working gallantly. So this moment, what are the things that you've done that makes you feel this way? These are most likely your strength. Next one is what tasks do you do at work and you enjoy doing without anyone asking you to get them with? Okay, for instance, probably it's time for the uh, get together or for the bonding and you're always at the forefront of organizing events or planning the party, you get it? That means you have a strength in event planning. And if you're the one that designs flyers, or probably you're the one that likes to specify customers, help them solve their problems. Yes, that means that is your strength. That is what you're good at because no one is asking you for this, but you just volunteer to do it yourself. The last thing I'm going to talk about, I mean the last question I'm going to be talking about is what other skills have you learned in your personal life? 
So there are some things probably you've learned fashion design, probably you've learned um, catering, probably you've learned a lot of things. This also could be your strength because you are interested, like if, um, you are interested, that is why you went ahead to learn it. So this also can be your strength. Now, I haven't answered all these questions. Please, I hope you actually answer this question because you need to be very candid with yourself. So, I haven't answered all these questions. The next thing to do, yes. So, the next thing to do is ask people around you that you are close to and are interested. So, it is very important that they are close and it's also important that you trust them. It's actually um, a thing to be close to people. It's another thing for you to trust them. And there's one thing about people that are very close to us. Some of them love us so much, loves us so much that they don't want to upset us. Oh. <laughs> but indirectly, they're not actually helping us. So these kind of people, you might not really ask them because they might not be honest enough if you can answer. So you ask people who you are close to and at the same time, you trust them to give you their kind of opinion about your strength and your weakness. Another reason why it's actually good to ask people for feedback is because sometimes we get to overhype ourselves. Like you feel like you do that this, you do that that, but sometimes it is not always as sweet as you think of yourself. So it's very important that you ask people around you, let them give you honest feedback. It doesn't have to be a serious environment. You can just be over a coffee, over dinner, and that settles it. So now to the final part on how to discover your strength try new things like explore okay so it's actually very good for you to be able to explore oh yeah it's interesting to explore new things because there are some points that when you don't do it when you don't try it out you never can tell how good you are at that particular skill so i'm going to be giving you five questions that you can ask yourself after trying something new the first one is did I enjoy the experience? And the second one is what did I like about it? Third one is what didn't I like? The first one is am I willing to continue? And the last question that you should ask yourself is when I feel tired, what will motivate me? So these are the five basic questions you should ask yourself after trying something new or exploring something different. Finally, on the end note, I'd like to tell you something. Your strength doesn't have to be something that you sleep and wake up to and then boom, you have the strength already. It doesn't have to be something that comes natural or divine from our growth. Strength is something that you can actually develop or you can actually build up for yourself. For instance, what do you like or what do you admire? Probably you like dancing, you like presenting, you love to be a baker and so on. These are things that you can actually learn over time, build yourself, make sure you're good at it. And comes your strength. Okay, so I'd like to add this to it that choosing a career path based on your strength will actually make you to be much more happier and of course more successful. So it is very good that you identify with your strength and choose your career path in that life. Okay, so do you enjoy today's video? Do you enjoy the tips? Do you find them useful? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and of course click on the notification bell and subscribe. Let's do this thing together. See you again in my next video. Bye!